What is going on everybody? Rajay back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. And today, I went to the cellar. I'm going to break this one out finally. This is going to be a look at the 2019 Goose Island Bourbon County brand Wheat Wine Ale. Comes in with an ABV of 15.3%. Have a drink by date of September 8th of 2024 so they have a five-year agent on here that they recommend enjoy in the snifter here is a look at the bottle and i had this one for a bit of time decided to finally crack that baby open this one was aged in larceny bourbon barrels and uh, should be a pretty decent treat to actually enjoy so let's get this baby into a glass and see what it has to offer Nice little pour into the snifter. Nice color coming out there. Got like a little bit of a caramel type brown. And get this down so we take a look at it. Oh, let's switch cameras, why don't we? That way you guys can check out the bottle right here as I drink out the beer over here. All right, so hopefully that comes in okay. A little bit of a lighter label is not coming through as great as I would have liked it um, with some of the lighting and stuff taking place here. But, you know, we'll make do, and hopefully that looks okay on your guys' screen. But the head pretty much dissipated already. A little bit of a tannish-type head. As I mentioned, it has, like, a nice caramel brown-type color to the beer. I get it here a little bit. You can kind of see into it as well has some stuff happening on the inside of the beer nice smell on the aroma i do pick up some of that booziness i am picking up some of the oakiness from the uh, barrels as well a little bit of a syrupy type on the uh, note on the nose but you can instinctively tell from the aroma if you have enough big beers that this is definitely going to be a big one very comparable to what I would say some of the strong ales are like on the nose. Um, let's get the taste on this, baby. Got some nice warmness to it. Now, I will tell you, I let this sit out for a bit uh, so it can bring out more of the flavor. I get a nice toffee type feel, a little bit of a caramel type silkiness in the beer. Very smooth on the tongue, goes down the back end really easy. For you guys that are some of the bourbon whiskey drinkers out there, I think this is something you would definitely enjoy. It has a little bit of a heat there as well, but a very nice smoothness to it. You get a prickling at the tip of the tongue some, but lays there ever so smoothly with a velvety type feel on the body. A nice coating in the mouth as it gets around little bit of a stickiness left there in the cheeks as well really picking up the uh, toffee caramel type feel lace in the cheeks nice duration of that flavor a little bit of a sweetness to it as well this is one that you're definitely looking at to be kind of a sipper to sit back and enjoy that toffee feel though is so so nice on it the bourbon you get a little bit of the nose, as I mentioned. You get a little bit of that um, vanilla in there with the oak. Taste-wise, I'm not getting as much of the bourbon, I should say. So they do hide the booziness somewhat a little bit well in the taste. Like I said, you can pick it up on the nose, kind of know it's going to be a big beer. But in the taste, you're not really getting hit with a lot of it. It just kind of is layered very nice into the design of the beer itself almost a little bit of a leathery type feel in there as well which is something you can commonly pick up with some of the whiskeys tell you what when you hold it for a second and then swallow after it just opens up more of a burst of that flavor as well so instead of just sipping it down i would say hold it in the mouth and then go ahead and drop it down and uh, i think you reward it with a little bit of an after effect of the flavor which is really nice so it's very decent it's very smooth like i said but overall it's it's a solid beer you know it's, it's bourbon county 
I would like to maybe try to check out some Larceny Bourbon. Hadn't heard of them before, so it uh, might be something nice there as well. And if you're not familiar with Goose Island, although I think many people are, they are out of Chicago. Uh, one thing also, as I noticed in the glass here, as I take a look, I do see some of the particles in there as well from how it was uh, fermented in the glass or in the bottle after everything else. So you can kind of see that there too. So you do have some floaties in place as well. Sometimes that's a turn off for people. It's not gonna hurt you anything like that, but just be forewarned that you do have some of this in there also. But uh, that's my look at this beer. If you've had this one, let me know what you think about it. Leave a comment in the comment section. If there's any of the Goose Island, Brand County stouts that you've had that you wanna give some feedback on or what your thoughts were, feel free to leave that down there as well. And are you looking forward to the ones coming out here now in 2020? Let me know by leaving a comment. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I will look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.